not everything's peaches and cream. You do have some bad days. But you gotta work through it, you gotta push through it, and remember where you came from. Well, I'm gonna jerry-rig something up because I don't have any of this tube yet. I haven't gone to the store to buy any. I need to go, but everywhere, to go to anywhere like store for us, it's at least 45 minutes one way. So I'm gonna get this going. The reason why I have to get this going is I have this job that has to be done. And I was started it already, was doing it. And the fiber in my epilogue went kaput. So that stinks because I don't, there's not even that many hours on it because I've barely ever used the fiber. So that really stinks. So I can't use that obviously. So I have to do everything on my new fiber, which is fine. It's just, I was not set up for it yet. So I need to get it all figured out and get it figured out pretty quick. So I'm gonna get the tube up. We're gonna start doing some testing so I can get this job done. So not too bad. This is all my ductwork stuff I had in the garage for um, dude woodworking. So I'm making this all work. And so far, it's working. There's so much tubing. I'm just gonna have to leave it on the floor. Up and around. Well, that should work. I don't see why not. So we'll see how this works. Start doing some testing. Hopefully it does good. All right, it is the next day. <laughs> different clothes, different lighting. So a lot has been going on. The epilogue is down. And I honestly, yesterday was a very hard day for me. We had a lot of work come in. I didn't know how I was gonna do it because I needed that laser. So that aside, I was and you know, a lot of you probably been in the same place. I was to the point where there was just too much. It was overload. I didn't know what to do no more. So I actually went outside and went in the greenhouse, watered everything, just took some breath, like just needed some time alone. And when I was out there, I looked around and saw all the things that I've achieved or that we have achieved since I quit my job and where I'm at today. That was like a breath of fresh air. So I came back in, tore that apart, needs a new a fiber tube, so a um, fiber module, whatever you want. So I'll be calling an epilogue on that, or we already did, I'm waiting to hear back from him. I had that wrench order right here. Felt terrible, because I'm already through how many wrenches. They had said, it's no big deal. We're gonna go with, I came up with a setting on there. I didn't record everything. It was just hectic, so I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go through some of that. 
A lot of you guys said to make sure you um, focus your laser. I already did that. I got that all done. I made a stick even. I got the, the lights so they're like right on. It's spot on where I need to be. So we're going to get that set up. I have to make jigs for that. Get that running so these wrenches can run through there. And then also, I got two more orders today. Yeah, not small ones either. We're talking some big orders. So, yeah, that laser right there is going to be running every day this week. And then not to mention those two, the Thunder, where I have all my stuff right now, because I'm taking measurements, I have a job for that one. It is, how does that saying go? When it rains, it pours. So I am just, yeah. I'm gonna keep pushing ahead. And keep going. I'm not complaining whatsoever. It's just, I want you guys to know that I have those days too, because I know you guys have it, because I get comments and emails. Not everything's peaches and cream. You do have some bad days. You gotta work through it, you gotta push through it, and remember where you came from. And I don't wanna go back, I wanna go forward. So think about the things that you did and you accomplished and you're grateful for. That's what helped me, anyways. So, I gotta get this situated. I have a guy coming over, I'm giving him some chickens in a couple of minutes. So then I'm gonna start working on these jigs over here. And as I do that, I'm gonna wait for that guy to come. When he comes, I'm gonna get these in the light burn, and then we're gonna make a jig <clears throat> for this laser, and we're gonna run the wrenches in there. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I got it working. I made jigs for each one. I just cut out a piece of wood, and I have the wrench sitting in there. See, like that. So I have one cut out for each one, and I'm just gonna keep them off to the side, and I just flip them in there and then I have to turn these and make a, a part right in the middle yet so it'll work for now and then I'm sure I'll come up with a better jig but for now this will work it'll be just fine so this is the third day yeah this is Tuesday this all should have been done on Sunday night <laughs> if that wouldn't have broke so things happen can improvise I am all done with the wrenches. I also, I forgot to tell you guys, I figured out Lightburn. I have been using Lightburn now. They walked me through some things. They have it set up actually where I didn't have to um, deactivate EasyCAD 2 or anything. They said to go back into their system and I went into it and I purchased the thing and they said go back and you just re-download everything after you give it a couple hours because they're updating something. So I closed the light burn and then I went back in there, downloaded their driver again, and then I opened it back up and everything worked fine. So I didn't have to disable anything. Um, it's been working good. There's some things that I have to learn yet for light burn because there's more options, I feel like, in EasyCAD too. So I have to figure that out where they are in Light Burn, anyways. So I'm getting there. But I got the wrenches all done. And then right after that, I got a job. Another job. So these are just test runs of what I'm doing. I need to get it really dark. And I can't get it as dark as like Sear Mark, you know, with the CO2, obviously. But. <clears throat> So I think what I'm going to do to use these tags up is I'm going to etch like a, an oval so it'd be white and then hit it with the CO2 with sear mark. And then get that job done, all those tags will be done and out. And I start on another one. So been a crazy week so far. It's uh, picked up out of nowhere, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. I, I'll take it. So 
My son has been down here, and when I was running those wrenches, I put this plywood for now right here because if you look, here's the laser head, and if he comes running in, then I then it's blocked at least for now until I get my stuff for all of that. So, and that's why I'm thinking I might like this in the corner over there just so it's out of the way but it worked fine he was out playing the whole time he came in here once and i wasn't even running it so yeah i'm i'm liking this machine it's definitely um it's <laughs> it's helped a lot so and i don't know if you know well yeah you know because it's probably started the video out that way but i had a rough time because that plugs down so once that's fixed get that going again readjust everything and the wife and I are talking maybe it's time to get rid of it and then I get another one but I'll get a smaller one so I won't I won't need a such big bed size because I got the thunder for that but <clears throat> otherwise if I don't get another one I could put three Galvo lasers right there like boom 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 I don't know it's a thought it's it's a, it's a thought <laughs> All right, glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>